Welcome to Think Science, where today we're starting off our video segment on biological macromolecules. The four biological macromolecules are carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. Let's get started. Welcome to our video on carbohydrates, the first macromolecule we will be discussing. Carbohydrates are molecules made out of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. They provide a variety of functions, some of the big ones including energy storage and structure. Carbohydrates start out as sugar monosaccharides, such as glucose or fructose. Glucose is shown here. These monomers have a carbon skeleton, as shown below, with different molecules such as hydrogens, hydroxyl groups, which are OH groups, or carbonyl groups, which is C double bonded to O, branching off. These sugars then form a ring structure, which is why you'll usually see ring diagrams of sugars like glucose. When looking at these ring diagrams, it's important to label the carbons, which form the points of these rings. One starts over here, and we go in a clockwise direction until we reach six at the end. Six carbon sugars, aka hexoses like glucose, have six carbons in its skeleton, and as such form a hexagonal ring. However, there are some exceptions to this, like fructose. Monosaccharides then connect to each other through dehydration synthesis, also called dehydration reaction, forming disaccharides such as maltose or lactose and polysaccharides such as starch or glycogen from smaller monomers, like glucose. Monosaccharides have an OH group attached to them, so when two OH groups from separate monomers join, they join through an O and form an extra water molecule. The bond they form is called a glycosidic linkage. Usually, there are two numbers before a glycosidic linkage, which indicate the carbon points at where the linkage has formed. For example, here at carbon 1 and here at carbon 4, the glycosidic linkage has been made through the two hydroxyl groups. Therefore, this glycosidic linkage is called a 1 to 4 glycosidic linkage. Glucose and glucose will always join with a 1 to 4 glycosidic linkage, but these points vary based on the monosaccharides that are being joined. By building monomers like this, Small monosaccharide carbohydrates become larger disaccharide, which is two saccharides, or polysaccharide, many saccharides, carbohydrates. Here, two glucose monomers make maltose, a disaccharide. It's important to note structure is very important in organic chemistry. Glucose, for example, has two structures, alpha and beta. Therefore, when many alpha glucose monomers link through a 1 to 4 glycosidic linkage, they form starch. However, when many beta-glucose monomers link through a 1 to 4 glycosidic linkage, they form cellulose. This means that in starch, hydroxyl groups are branched, whereas in cellulose, they are unbranched. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more science videos. If you have any questions about carbohydrates, be sure to comment them and we will do our best to answer. Thank you for watching. Think Science.